so what you guys just saw right there was I sold both my gold De'Aaron Fox select rookie on card autos so the reason that video wasn't in the day two video the whole second half of that day when I got home and I started uploading some of the footage to check it out I realized none of the audio got captured it's okay I wasn't really mad about it I just you know you gotta let it go you can't I try not to get too caught up in this whole constant thing it's cool but you know I don't let it control me so I just said hey whatever part of that video or that deal that I have, I'll just make a little separate video and kind of talk to you guys about the deal. So to break it down, I bought the SGC 9510 Auto raw in December for a very fair price. And then the PSA 9, I brought it, I bought it the week of the Clippers versus Kings game where it was 176 to 175. My Kings winning but it was like one of the second highest scoring games ever. And I felt like that was kind of a spot where the boom really started happening for not only De'Aaron Fox, but just the whole Kings market in general. So the reason I'm posting this video is because people that have watched this uh, channel have seen that I've been showcasing those cards. And honestly, those have been the best cards I've had out of all my liquid stuff. I've never sold a card before over $500. So me being patient as I was with that Fox. I had friends tell me I should have sold the card already. Dealers tell me, um, everyone tell me, a lot of people tell me and not to flex or anything, but I proved everyone wrong. I really just was not ready to sell the card. I didn't want to sell it. Um, I had offers all through playoffs and I just still hold on to it because it just, I'm gonna move this card when it feels right. And Saturday at the show, when some serious buyers came up and they didn't wanna just buy one, they wanted to buy two. For me, that's that's like kind of some life change of money at the time. I'm not over here buying like $10,000 cards, $15,000 cards, like that's not me. I'm, I don't got that, like, you know, but I'm having fun with just making little investments here and here and there. And I think that's what I'm trying to show people in this hobby is that like you could buy like a, a rookie gold select on card auto maybe not like deer and fox um i'll say maybe i got lucky with that one but um it's just where you're looking man um i try not to look too hard but i'm just looking at certain cards and you know you be patient with cards it's not about just like buying it flipping it right away like because i could have flipped that fox from the first time i got it and I just didn't. And I ended up selling it for more than what I thought I would have gotten. And not only just that, I ended up selling both of them. So I was really attached to those cards. Honestly, I'd look at them every morning, as funny as that may sound. But I was just grateful because even as a card collector, you know, going from like your 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe $50 cards at the most to having a card of that number, uh, it felt pretty good. And, um, you know, now we can buy more Fox or, you know, you try and take the profit from that and you buy maybe another player. Like I'm big on Jason Preston. He hasn't played a single game really in the NBA, but I think he may be special. So I'm trying to buy some of his cards and maybe that will take off for me. But long story short, this whole video is just about being a patient, passionate car collector. You don't always gotta sell the card as soon as you get it. Unless you're trying to get into something else, I understand that. But with me, with those cards, I was patient. I waited till it was the right time to sell it. I didn't listen to anyone else, and I was very happy when the deal came across my mind. So, to all y'all that are new to subscribing to the channel, uh, make sure you check out some of the videos. Come along with this journey. Um, We've been to the Burbank Card Show. Um, I've done a lot of local deals out here in Sacramento in the Bay Area. So check out those shows. And I noticed like right now we're at like 600 subscribers. And I just wanna say when I get a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna give away a recon hobby box to anyone. So you guys just gotta make sure you drop a comment, you like the video and you're following me on Instagram. And we're gonna pick a winner when we get to that thousand subscribers. And not only that, um, yes, this is a car channel, but I also started this channel to 
push my music. I believe um, I'm gifted to, you know, share a message with my lyrics, my beats. Um, this first album I engineered by myself. I've been working on it since 2017. So if you guys get a chance to check that out, um, I told myself when I get to 1500 subscribers, I'm going to put out my first video. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, hope you guys are enjoying all the content come from Stone Chase, Big Brother Cards, Candlestick Sports Cards, and everyone else that you see in the video. And um, if you see us at a show, you know, come up, say what's up. I'm putting together some packs for kids because, you know, I just want to inspire people to, you know, enjoy this hobby, you know, look through the value boxes, you know, go home and drop a card in that box that you like. Like I have a three row box of cards that I'm never going to sell. Just of old 2000 Kings cards and Chris Paul, Ricky cards, Jersey cards, because that means a lot to me. So appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment, hit me up on Instagram. You guys got any questions about the hobby or anything else, you know, you guys can feel free to reach out to me, Big Brother Cards, Candlestick Sports Cards, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.